Good morning, family of God. This is Vicki and Chuck. Welcome to Morning Sessions. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. We are so glad you're here. Thank you all for joining us this morning. It's going to be an amazing day. It's going to be a fabulous day. The Lord God is good. We have plenty to rejoice about. Creator of all things is powerful and mighty and beautiful and loving and gentle and kind and strong. He's our protector and our defender. He's the amazing Lord God. There is no one like him. He has no equal. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for being who you are. Thank you, Father, for your goodness every day. Thank you, Father, for the things you're doing in each one of our lives, for every plan you've made. Thank you, Father. Thank you for this precious time we get to gather together in this little corner of your vineyard here on the earth with all of the craziness that's going on all all over the place in the world. It's wonderful to be able to have a place that we can come apart across the world. We can meet together in this little place for you are always present and all things are present with you. Thank you, Father. There is no other name given in heaven or earth whereby man may be saved but the name of our Savior, the Word of God, Jesus the Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, the Lamb of God who was slain before the foundation of the world. Father knew, Father knew we were going to need a Savior. He knew we were going to be a mess. He knew we were going to fall apart and sin and turn away from Him and all we have to do is get in scripture we can see it all through from the beginning pretty much to the end the rebellion of mankind and the patience of God and the love of God for a people that he's called and set apart for himself thank you father for your goodness thank you for your patience for your love thank you for your humility you are humble God Otherwise, you would have destroyed us long ago. Thank you for being humble and for teaching us that humility is of great value in your eyes. For telling us that you don't even hear us when we're full of pride. You draw near to the humble. Thank you, Father. Lord God, we want you to search us this day. Help us see what we need to see about ourselves. Help us know. Help us, Father. And Lord, we pray for every single member of of your body, a hunger and a passion, a desire to be humble, to walk humbly before you in obedience Lord, you're not willing for anyone to be lost, and that includes those who claim the name of Jesus. Because so many times people seem to think that that's all they have to do. God, show show the error of that of that kind of thinking. Lord, 
Lord, thank you for telling us we are to take up our cross and follow you daily. Thank you for telling us that you call us, but that you want us to be a holy people, that we have to walk apart from the world. We have to walk in humility and obedience before you. We can't just, you didn't come to save us from our sin and then say it was okay for us to stay in our sin. What a terrible waste that would have been of the life of your son and completely unnecessary for him to give his life if we can just keep sinning and please forgive us, God. This day we ask you to help us search our hearts, help us be willing to humble ourselves to listen to whatever you wanna show us and tell us about ourselves so we can set things right. And Father, we pray for all the ones who keep procrastinating, God, we're playing with fire when we refuse to obey something you've told us. We are playing with fire, Father God. I ask you to bless your people and people all over this world, everyone you're calling, in such a way that the fear of God falls on every single one of us. Lord, even praying, that's a scary thing. But Father, if we don't fear you, we won't change. We'll just keep doing what we want to do. We won't change. Help us, God. And Lord, we don't just pray for ourselves only. We pray for every single person you are calling. repentant hearts, hearts that will be filled with hope when they see that there is a reason to hope and that you are that reason. Father, we pray for all of the unborn, every single child in every womb. We ask you for your protection, Father God. All of the ones that you want to come forth, we pray that they will come forth. We pray for all of the people who have walked with you at some point in time, but turned and for some reason walked away. Lord, all your prodigals out there, we pray for them all. That they would come home. And where we are prodigal in our own hearts, where we're giving you just this much of ourselves and keeping the rest for us, please forgive us. and help us turn back to you with full purpose of heart. You're a mighty God. You deserve to be worshiped. You deserve to be worshiped in spirit and in truth, in reality, every day, all day long. You deserve our spiritual act, act of worship. You deserve to have us lay our lives down before you and let you have your way in us every single day, Father God. Father, I pray for all of the ones who are struggling right now with discouragement or depression or hopelessness or despair. I pray for all of the ones who are sick. And in the name of Jesus Christ, I stand in agreement with my brothers and sisters in Christ and say, be healed, be made whole in the name of our Savior, the Lord God, Jesus the Christ, the Word of God, be made whole, be made healthy. Father, I ask you to pour into each one such a passion for you that we are not satisfied with anything less than what you want from us. Thank you, Father. We bless your name. You are good and your mercy endures forever. This day, Father, help us live in this day, this time, what you have for us this day. Help us be alert and awake like you talk about in the book of Jeremiah where you say that you are alert and active to perform your word, to watch over your word. Father, bless us to be alert and active to do whatever you call us to do. Thank you, Father, for all of these things in the name of our Savior, Yeshua, Jesus the Christ, the Word of God, we pray, amen.
You guys, Father started a message with me today about setting our houses in order. I just ask for your prayers. I want to be able to hear the whole thing and to bring it to you in his time and his way with what he has to say. God bless you guys. We love you so much. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.